Sorry folks, I'm sweating bullets. It's fucking hot out here. But today I thought would be a good day to do another oddities video because I need some filler content. <laughs> In fact, last time I did an oddities video, I was still a fat hairy bastard. So today we'll be taking a look at something I've acquired for R series engines. I'm of course talking about the 18R. So here I have a standard 18RC from an RA40. And here I have a box of goodies. Whack this on here like this. And then we slap that on there like that. And then you whack those in there like that. They're only sitting there temporarily at the moment. So yeah, that really transforms the look of a single cam 18R, doesn't it? Like that's, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty sexy. I was very lucky to score this setup and I'm eternally grateful to the guy that got it for me. Even though it is broken and missing some things, I think I could get this to work pretty easily with an aftermarket ECU. I kind of want to do something silly and also turbocharge an 18R with this setup. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. I don't know how to go about doing that just yet because everything's going to be on this side and it's going to be a clusterfuck. Or I could probably even go a supercharger instead, which would be pretty cool. But I just thought it'd be awesome to have an EFI set up with some kind of boost on an old single cam 18R. I think that would be just so awesome. Not that I have a vehicle to chuck it in at the moment. That's why this is on the back burner. This is a later project. And I've wanted to do an oddities video on this for a while because it is very odd. A lot of people don't even know that this setup exists, that 18REs existed from factory. As a matter of fact, you can actually get EFI single cam T-series motors too. So Toyota was doing some cool stuff with the really early EFI. I definitely want to try restore this setup and actually use it. I think it would look so cool in an engine bay of a Celica or something. Just those, just those chrome runners look bloody awesome. My plans for this eventually are to completely rebuild this motor because I actually have everything in the back room to do it. The gaskets and new pistons and everything. And then I want to run some kind of boost with this setup and just an aftermarket ECU. I'm not looking to make stupid power. I just want to run a really cool looking old school EFI setup. Like that's just nuts, look at it. It's an extremely rare kit. So the fact that I even managed to score one, luckily in Australia is just unreal. So I'm very grateful to the person that helped me out there. Um, the only problems I will really have with this setup is trying to restore these chrome runners. Um, I could use pressure to push these dents out and then just get them re-chromed or I could probably get some place to bend up some tube the same dimensions. These ones actually have this rubber which is molded to them so it might be better if I get some runners made that I can then just use silicon joiners. That might be a better setup that way. As you can see it is missing the fuel rail. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. I have spoken to a few people and they reckon they could make one fairly easily. What it costs, I don't know yet, but it can be done, which is good. The plenum doesn't actually sit right on an 18RC valve cover. So I might have to make something up for that. Uh, and as for the broken throttle body here, it looks very similar in size and shape to a Y series engine. I don't have any on hand at the moment to test, unfortunately, but if I'm ever in a, at a wrecking yard, I'm gonna get a Y-series throttle body to try on this plenum. It's a pretty cool setup. I'm, I'm pretty happy that I got this and I, I really wanna use it in something. Like I was almost tempted to pull the motor out of lemon and sell it just so I could chuck that in it and run that. Cause that's cool. Like you pop the bonnet and people are gonna go. I have the weirdest boner. Penis can only get so erect. But I am not gonna do that. I'm still persevering with Lemon, trying to do the 22 RE turbo setup. It's slow going though. I haven't done much because I've been busy clearing out shelving and, and everything. But basically, eventually I wanna tackle this and put it in something. So there is very little information out there on the internet for this particular setup. I'll be doing some research while editing this video because it is so bloody hard to find anything on this setup. Okay, so after trying to do some research, the only information I can really find is just the general Wikipedia stuff and an old thread on the Toy Mods forum from 2015 
and I can't find anything else on the 18RE at all. There's a few obscure Japanese websites that do have photos of the engine in engine bays, but pretty much there's only four or five photos of this setup on the internet that I can find. Um, it's, it's pretty unreal how, how difficult it is to, to find any info on this setup. Now I believe the 18RE was available in first generation Karinas and I also believe they were in early Coronas. I think things like RT51s and, and obscure stuff like that, I can't find any solid information to confirm what models of Toyota this engine actually came in. Yeah, I think that'll do for the oddities video. This was just a short and sweet one to show you this awesome setup. Um, it's a little bit different to the other oddities videos because the other ones are more so gimmicky optional extras, whereas this was an actual whole engine option. This is probably one of the rarest things I own and I would love to fix it up and actually use it. But after going 3T GTE in Noob, I won't be able to run this without some kind of boost. Either a supercharger or a turbo or whatever. Supercharger will probably be easier to set up because I can chuck it over this side. As opposed to a turbo setup over here, you know, like there's gonna be a lot of weight hanging off this side of the motor. So supercharger setup would probably be much easier. But this is a later thing. This is on the back burner. I don't have a vehicle to chuck this in yet. I don't exactly have the dollary dues behind me to tackle this yet. So it's a ways off, but I'm gonna hold on to it because I do want to actually do something with it. I don't want to go removing the 22RE from Lemon after all the work I've put in. I do want to finish that and get it running. So I'm gonna have to find something else to chuck that in. So guess what I do? Now you buy another one. I hope you enjoyed this quick little Toyota Oddities video. I do hope to do more Oddity videos in the future because Toyota had some wacky and interesting things that they sold back in the day. So it would be really cool to let people know about this stuff, especially cool stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this filler content, like and subscribe. Hopefully the next video you see on this channel will be me actually getting some work done. All right, folks, have a lovely day.